Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos introducing you to the new functionality being released within Pitstop 2018 this April. The first thing we are going to show you is some new functionality regarding Pantone colors. Pantone colors still cause a lot of problems for our customers. One of the biggest issues relates to the changes that were made to Pantone colors with the Creative Cloud release. With Pitstop 2018, now you can decide which alternate color space you want to use in your production. Here's a list of new Pantone functionality included in Pitstop 2018. These new actions allow you a whole new set of capabilities for checking, editing, and mapping Pantone colors using the built-in Pantone libraries as reference. Pitstop Pro has included the official Pantone libraries for many years. In Pitstop 2018, we've also added the Pantone libraries to Pitstop Server to increase the automation possibilities. Let's show you an example of how this functionality can be used in production. We're going to do this manually, but it could also be automated. Here we have a PDF with several spot colors of different greens and blues. Looking at our output preview, you can see they are all variations of the same spot color, just with different naming and different color breakdowns. This would either create multiple plates on output or multiple different colors if we converted to CMYK. So this file definitely needs some work. We're going to run an action list that will ship as default in Pitstop 2018. As you can see from the action list, the first thing we do is change all suffixes to one suffix. Then we normalize the Pantone color names. In the third action, all the Pantone names and colors will be mapped to the requested library. In this case, to CMYK versions, although that could just as easily be LAB. Let's take a look at the file after running the action list. If we again look at the output preview, you'll see now that all the different separation names have now become standardized. You can visually see that all the colors also now look the same on screen. In addition, the colors have also been mapped to be the official Pantone breakdown. We hope you like this new functionality and it helps you in your daily production. Look out for the second episode of this series about Pitstop 2018 so you can learn about other new functionality which we'll be releasing with this version.